All right, so in this video, I'll show you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 on your 32-bit iDevice. So as you can see right here, I have my iPhone 4S and currently it's running 9.3.6. This video method is for those who are using Windows. By the way, you can do this on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10 or 11. And right here, as you can see, I have my MacBook Air running Windows 11 natively using Bootcamp. Oh yeah, there's a few things I need to mention to you guys is that first thing first, you gonna need a 30 pin to USB A cable. In addition, if your PC only have USB C port, I highly recommend using a USB A dongle or a USB C hub with USB A port. Last but not least, I highly not recommend using a 30 pin to USB C cable if somehow you can find one. And let's get started. All right, so you're on your Windows computer. So first thing first, make sure you have iTunes on your computer. If you don't have iTunes, when you plug in your iDevice into your computer, obviously it still detect however all you can do is just transfer picture and videos well that's the first thing second thing is go to search and type windows security as you can see right here so go to virus and threat protection and then go right here virus and threat protection settings click the manage settings and turn off real-time protection when this thing shows up um click yes so make sure this thing is off because when you leave it on when you're trying to download the files which i'll show you later it will block and it says there's a virus even though the file doesn't have virus at all i would say turn this thing off first before we move on to the next step moving on go to your favorite web browser in my case i like to use chrome because i like to use chrome and as you can see i have two chrome tabs right here well the first one is site loading and the second is phoenix i will link both of the web Website in the description below so first thing first i'll go to site loady so this is pretty much for you to site load the phoenix jailbreak now on this website scroll down until you see the download site loading as i mentioned earlier you need a computer that runs windows 7 8 8.1 10 or 11 so yeah you can see it says require windows 7 or higher well there are two download button right here for windows 64 bit and 32 bit obviously if you have 32 bit download the 32 bit and if you have the 64 bit download the 64 bit well in my case because this macbook air is 64 bit i need to download this particular version all right it's done downloading so second thing that you need to download again phoenix so scroll down until you see the download button and click download and it's gonna take some time for it to download so as you can see both of the files are done downloading and that's all the things that you need to download next up plug in your phone into your computer and tap trust Okay, so you're on your PC again and once again, I would like to remind you that make sure you have iTunes, otherwise this wouldn't work. Okay, so what you need to do now is go to where you save the download file. In my case, I have it in my downloads folder right here. So as you can see from earlier, it downloaded two files which are Phoenix 6 and Site Loady Setup. So what you need to do now is go to Site Loady Setup and it will show the setup screen right here and just click next, next, next. So it said completing site loading, make sure these two check if you want to have it here, otherwise you can uncheck it, it's up to you pretty much. And then click finish. So as you can see, it detects my phone immediately because I already have iTunes. So next thing is click IPA and browse where you save the Phoenix file. In my case, I have it right here and you can see it shows up the icon. Next up, put your Apple ID. Well, for some reason, if you feel insecure putting your actual Apple ID, I would recommend create a burner account and use that burner account for this part. And I'll be putting my Apple ID right now. Well, I already put my Apple ID. Next thing you gotta do is click start. And right now it shows that it needs your password. So it says that your Apple ID and password will only be sent to Apple server. Again, if you don't feel secure about this, you can use the burner account that I mentioned earlier. If you just put a random password, this wouldn't work by the way. So right now I'll be putting my password. Once you're done putting your password, click OK and it will do its thing. All right, as you can see, it says done. So you don't need to use your computer anymore. Let's move on to the iDevice. Okay, so on your iDevice, as you can see, if you scroll to the second page, it will show the app Phoenix. But when you tap it, it shows untrusted developer. Well, don't worry about that. What you need to do is go to settings. By the way, make sure Wi-Fi is on and then scroll down to general. 
scroll down again until you see device management tap your apple id and then tap the blue tag that says trust your apple id trust wait for you to trust and it's done and then when you open it it will be open so tap prepare for jailbreak accept as you can see it shows free mixtape available tap dismiss and then tap proceed with jailbreak that small text right there and then begin installation tap use provider offsets that's why i recommend when this shows up tap done wait for it to do its own thing and your iDevice will reboot okay so it's done rebooting so scroll right here as you can see cds right there well as you can see cd crash well pretty much open it again so yeah you can see it's working this time tap return to cd and then it shows two essential upgrade i would highly recommend tap complete upgrade and then tap confirm Well, as you can see, crash, open it again. It should be done updating right now. And as you can see, if there's nothing showed up, you're pretty much up to date. All right, so let's say you reboot your iDevice and when you try to open CD, as you can see, it's just gonna crash. So what you need to do is go to the app searcher and then close all the apps and then hold the power button with it slide to power off to show up and then hold the power button for it to clear off the RAM. Go to Phoenix and then tap Kickstart Jailbreak. Tap Use Provider Offsets and wait it for it to do its own thing for a while. As you can see, it says it's jailbroken. Wait it for it to reboot. You can unlock it and then when you open Cydia. So storage is full, tap done. And that's how you do it. Well, I hope this video helps you a lot. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos right there. And yeah, bye.